All right, guys, so today I'm up here in Mount Charleston. And believe it or not, as you can see, I'm wearing a jacket. And the reason why is it's because it's about 45 degrees yeah. here. And uh, Vegas right now is roughly about 80 degrees. And uh, right in back of me, we have this beautiful modern cabin style. And this is listed by one of our fellow agents, Paul Baller, right? Absolutely. Almost as good in that okay. accent as the English accent. See, I, I've been messing up his last name. So now, Paul. Chuck it. <laughs> Chuck it. You got it. You I got knew it. it. Got I knew it. what you were going to ask me. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, um, I can tell you, driving up here, it is gorgeous. Okay. But, Paul, I want to ask you this. Las Vegas? Yeah. It's up here. How long is the drive? I did it this morning, I think it was about 40 minutes, and that was keep, keeping to the limit, the speed limit, which is difficult. Okay. But, uh, you, if you really wanted to be naughty, mm -hmm. you could probably do it in 20 minutes. Okay, so it's not that bad. It's not that bad. All right, so let's talk about this gorgeous property, because I'm going to say, for all the viewers out there, this thing looks like a mansion. It does. But it's a cabin style. We're up in the woods, yeah. which is, I love the nature, and uh, you don't get too many of these up here no, for sale. No, I, I would say this is absolutely unique, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, this, you could... Absolutely pull it. Obviously, other than the stonework, this looks like it's just landed from the summit or the ridges, McDonald's Highlands. Um, I've never seen a property like this up here. I've been coming up here for probably 20 years. I've owned, I actually own a cabin on the other side near the, near the ski lift. Mm -hmm. Very, very small. You could probably fit it inside there about 10 times. Okay. But the finishes of, of this, you know, they've got the, uh, we've got marble, we've got porcelain Im imported from, from Italy, and the finishes are just incredible. Or completely not cabin like so i think the buyer for this is going to be somebody that you know that, that likes that modern style mm -hmm. but wants to escape and and you can you can feel the air you know you can hear the birds singing you're absolutely sat, surrounded by by the um by the forestry commission land it's it's incredible it feels i come up sometimes up here just for an evening i might get a takeout not to this property but my own get a takeout sunday evening make a log fire sleep overnight drive back monday morning and i feel like i've had a week off it's incredible it really is i cannot wait to get inside this property <laughs> and show you guys around are you ready to show us absolutely around? all right let's do let's this do it. All right, this is it. <laughs> so it looks like this is the main level, obviously. Uh, one thing I've noticed, everything is completely open. Let's talk about the windows here because obviously, you know, the owner had designed this and positioned this correctly to get the... Correctly and, and perfectly, yeah. I mean, you, you want as many windows when you're surrounded by an environment like this. Yeah. And obviously five, six months of the year, you've got snow out here. So it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It really, it really, he really has uh, positioned them well. And you'll see in some of the bedrooms, secondary mm -hmm. bedrooms, he's brought the windows, you know, to two or three different walls. So you really feel like you're part of nature outside. Okay. So what do we have on this side? So we got a bedroom here. Yeah. Bedroom here. Correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to walk through? Yeah. Have a look? So uh, how many bedrooms and bathrooms, square footage, and when was it built? Yeah, we were built in 2022. We've got five bedrooms. Um, I think five and a half bathrooms actually. Okay. And, and this is exactly what I was talking about the, about the windows here. Okay. So they, they come to a, you know, like an L or a T shape. The windows are more like a frame of, yeah. of the beauty of outside. And if you, you can, you know, you're looking at mountain peaks, even now we're in, we're almost in May, but they're still covered in snow and everything like that. Now, how high are we actually elevated from 8, here? 8,000, 8,000 okay. feet. So you and I walked in and, you know, I briefly showed you around yeah. and, uh, and I said, don't worry, you're not, you're not, you're not fit. <laughs> you know, we were gasping, we were coming, coming up the stairs and we're like, Ugh. I was, you know, I was saying that I carried a, 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 a sofa once a couple of years ago at my place and I was nearly dying, mm -hmm. but it is, it's the air's thin up here for sure. Okay. Yeah. So I definitely love this room. The room is a lot larger than your standard room. Also, a couple of things I've noticed is the trims on here yeah. are very nice, modern, clean, and sleek. Yeah. Another thing is that we have a level five finishing. The ceilings are about nine feet tall, which is I do like. You have a bunch of LED lights in here. Yeah. So uh, there's 
nothing that was spared in this bedroom. No, literally. So no, they, and, they spent and, some money, I can tell. And it's not just the bedrooms. Even we have ba a basement entertainment area downstairs, which we'll, we'll go and visit shortly. Okay. And there's, I haven't found anything anywhere where, you know, you sometimes you look in homes and there's the main living areas, there's mm -hmm. the primary suites, and then you go into the secondary beds and those kind of things. You're like, oh yeah, you know, they've got the plastic surrounds, but you know, everything is, is absolute attention to detail. Okay. They really, I've, I've not found it. I've been looking, but you know, I've not found anything yet where I've gone, oh, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have done this. Can we go check out the living room? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So we got a closet here and it looks like we have a seating area here. Yeah. Then we have our bathroom here. Yeah. Three quarter bath. Okay. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's great as well. And again, attention to detail. We've got, we've got mowing it or Delta faucets. Okay. Um, Again, the, the floor continues throughout the main living area. Port, uh, Italian marble we've got. Um, and he's just, he's just done a phenomenal job. So this was actually imported, correct? It was. Yeah, okay, nice. Yeah, Italy. Which is nice because then you're buying something that nobody else can get yeah. without a load of trouble and a, you know, and a load of importing. Ceilings are huge. I want to guess at 30 feet, actually. Oh, I'm wow. trying to take my little height at 5'6 and multiply <laughs> me. It's about the only way I can do it. But I'm thinking 25, so probably 30 feet. So what about the uh, utilities? Is this yeah. part of the uh, public? Because I know some it's, of these you can have septic public. and all yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's public. It's okay. public here, yeah. Yeah, over the other side is a little bit, bit more primitive. Mm -hmm. um, but here we've got all the main utilities connected to the property. So again, uh, let's talk about the windows. Nice and high, brings Super. in a lot of light. Absolutely. And the way that this house is facing right now, we are literally like on top of a hill and it kind of circles around, right? It so does. And as that road goes around, I don't know if you, you're familiar, but um, I think it's a couple of years ago, there used to be a lodge just there. This, the cabins are still there, yeah. but there used to be a restaurant and a lodge there. So okay. it was beautiful to drive up and hike. And unfortunately there was a fire a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't look like they've started to build, but that was, it was then, it's, it's now better for this home mm -hmm. because you don't get as much of the tourist traffic. Um, but it used to be, you know, just a stone, stone throw walk over to the, um, to the lodge there. Now I like this view deck in here, so it's not built all the way out, no. but it's enough. Can we open this Absolutely. up? Absolutely. Show the viewers yeah, here. Yeah, definitely. Go on after you. You, sure. hit, you probably need jackets freezing out there again. <laughs> yes, it is. So it snows up here, obviously. How Absolutely. high does it actually snow up the here? The snow, well, I'll tell you, and it may be on the pictures on the listing, but okay. if you look down here, okay. That was from the from the deck up to the level of the wall. Really? Honestly. And I've got pictures of my place where this if you look across there, the street sign would be completely covered. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you're eight or nine feet of snow. And sometimes you get no snow. Mm -hmm. Which we love it when it snows up here, obviously for, for all the you know. Now I noticed forest. that uh, we're located in a, this little small gated community. Yes. Is this absolutely. the only gated one up here? Um it's not the only gated mm -hmm. one. Um but they're, they're very few and far between. Let's okay. put it that way. Where the subdivision I live over, it's called Camp Lady of the Snows, um, which is, I think it's two miles probably to the, the ski resort. It's gated, but it's, we have no power over there. Okay. So it's all solar and generators and everything. So it's a little solar panel that opens and closes the gate. But here we've got full power and the, and the gate is just across there. Perfect. Yeah. So you've, you know, you've got, you, you'd be part of um, a four home complex, if you like, in here. Oh, so there's only a total of four. There's homes. four in this nice. private gated community. So it's yeah. completely exclusive, which absolutely. is really nice. Absolutely. And not only is it exclusive, but it's one owner of the whole complex right now. Wow. So this will be the first one that we're, that's on the market that we're, you know, we're selling. And let's say more will be revealed. And I cannot wait to show you guys those <laughs> ones because they're incredible. If you like this one, this is it right here. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the kitchen because it oh, looks yeah. like we have more of a modern european style absolutely kitchen quartzite uh countertops again italian uh, marble Every, everything's brand new and modern that's why it almost doesn't fit this at mount charleston it really for me it just looks like it's been put here and it does from the outside yeah. but from the inside it's incredible when you know when you open up and everything is just is modern you now know. has anybody lived here because no Nothing's been no, used. No, it's nobody's lived here. So you're literally buying a brand new home, Absolutely. basically. Yeah, nobody's okay. lived here at all. Now, does a home like this come with a warranty or anything like that? Or well, Being manuf manufacturer's warranty, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. And one thing I've noticed, when you live up in the mountainside, right, 
gets very cold. Absolutely. Let's talk about insulation for this home. Sure. The quality of insulation. It's incredible. It's incredible and it needs to be. So if you don't know about mountain living, yeah. if you don't keep it heated and well insulated, there is a chance that the pipes can freeze. Obviously not in a home like this. Yeah. My little place I have out there, um, I actually empty it. So I usually, after Thanksgiving, I turn all the water, drain it all out and turn it back on in March, April. But with this, we've got tankless water heaters. We've got additional heaters where the water, he where the main mm -hmm. water heaters are downstairs in the garage. So he's thought of every angle actually to make it very, very easy to be able to come here, open the door, in enjoy the mountain life with all the modern conveniences mm -hmm. as well, which is totally unique because not everybody wants to be in a, a dark wooden log cabin yeah. if you're used to living in, in these surroundings. Yeah, I like this because this is just like nice and bright. It really Absolutely. makes me feel like I'm outside. Absolutely. But I'm also warm as well. As you Absolutely. can see, I got my jacket there off. There you go. I'm just relaxing. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, what else we got? Show us some more. I think we should go down to the basement actually because down most times when you okay. say basement, you end up thinking of a, a dungy, you know, a dungeon actually. Yeah. But not in this house. And again, the, the finishes going down is just uh, just phenomenal. He, he, he kept the, the tile and the ceramic going all the way around. He kept the baseboards, beautiful lighting. So in fact, I've got another agent that, that works closely with me, Terry, Terry Bartlett. Mm -hmm. um, and when we came in, he said, oh, this kitchen's gorgeous. And all that. I said, this, this, is, not this is not the kitchen. <laughs> this is your entertainment room. You know, you've got smoke mirrors at the back. Obviously you've got the marble again, that unique that's, that's been uh, shipped in. Um, and he's, he's decorated it extremely well. Okay. Fireplace as well, and he's got all the, the beautiful stone on there. And then that'll give you an idea now when you look outside. So I couldn't see that wall when I brought my photographer out here to, you know, to take the pictures and, and everything. So when does it really get heavy uh, with snow around so, uh, here? So I've been in town 25 years now in Vegas. Yeah. Sound like I just got off the plane from England, but I didn't. I've been here a <laughs> while now. But um, usually I'm closed up by about mid to end of November. Mm -hmm. This year I extended a little bit further, um, probably by two or three weeks, but brought the Tesla up and got stuck in the snow and it's not recommended, okay. obviously. Um, but generally speaking, I would say Thanksgiving, and I'm usually opening up by the end of March. Okay, you know? so if you do come up here, you need, you need probably four wheel, wheel drive. Yeah, okay. but this, that's my own little tiny place. This, you, you're gonna have access because the, the streets are going to be cleared Okay. He, he clears his driveway. So somebody coming up here, they, they could use it 24 seven. Got it. 52 weeks of the year, definitely. Right. That's, what, that's the way it's set up, so. There's another bedroom actually along, along here. And he's got it set up as an office. So there's again, secondary baths. Okay. And then he's got this nicely set up as, a, as an office. Again, we're in a basement. We don't look like we're in a basement at Yeah, all. no, at it all. doesn't. I feel like I'm still on the first floor basically. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Then we just have storage here. Storage, okay. correct, yeah. And then I think we should definitely go out into the, um, the garage while okay. we're down, down here. And I'll just show you the, the plumbing that we were talking about, you know, the water heaters and the additional heating to make sure that nothing freezes. Just watch your step going down. And he talked about insulation as well. Obviously, these are all insulated nicely. And then there's a ton of pipe. In fact, he's got three tankless water heaters okay. and then he's got additional heating to make sure that that doesn't freeze up. So you technically need this to you kind do. of keep it going year round, unless yes. you shut it down, right? Yes, and if you shut it down, then that way you, you basically dra you drain all the, the water out of all mm -hmm. of the, the piping and the plumbing work. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is once it freezes, the, the, it expands. I'm not a scientist, but yeah. it, the, ice, the, you know, the water goes ice, it expands and it can break the pipe. So got it's it. very, very important. And obviously you've got a nice entrance here. That's the road we talked about. Driveway just sweeps around and you know, you're right in here. Okay, nice so these included. are the other four properties yeah. that you're talking about here? Yeah, it's the owner's parents, I believe, live here. This one is, um, is gonna be ready in the in not too distant future. I think he's got some finishing touches. Okay. And I believe that originally was, was um, or these two originally were um, condo units mm -hmm. and he's converted them back now to uh, primary, you know, primary mm -hmm. residences. Nice. Sorry, the car's talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, everything's custom. The stair rails, the finishes on there, all ties in. And I, I even noticed that this morning, the attention to detail, everything is wrapped round nicely. 
and, and nothing has been left and, and unfinished, which you just don't get normally no. nowadays. But you do with a, you know, with a, a multi-million dollar home like this. Again, the, the nice floor work. I think, and I'm gonna forget, I think this is American beach, this, this wood that's on the floor. It's, uh, it, is, it is a real wooden floor and it's, um, it's very nice to the eye. I'm gasping for air now. I, actually, I am too. Yeah, I'm gasping for air. Now, so we're, now we're 8,030 feet in the air, <laughs> or 25. But again, as we stand here and we look around, I mean, you've got everything. Even if we look out of the windows where the, where the staircase, where we've just come up, we've even still got snow there. And what's interesting, I spoke to the owner, because this is forestry commission there, mm -hmm. so, you, so nothing's gonna change. It's not like, oh, I've got this beautiful view. Oh, well, somebody's gonna build a home yeah. there. Somebody's gonna, that's not possible. What he did do is he's, he opened up and put a gate in the side of his property, and we've got a nice slope there, so his family members can, can uh, snowboard and, you know, and ski and sledge down straight onto his property. I was property. gonna ask you, what about like for trash day and stuff? How does that work? Yeah, it's, we have just regular. Oh, really? Yeah, they collect. Oh, yeah. so I don't have to take my trash no, out back down no, to the city. You don't have to put, no, absolutely <laughs> not. You don't. No, the, by the gate when you come in, that's where you, you know they oh, come okay. and collect the trash and everything. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, it's just like living in a, a, a normal home, except for you probably thir you know 30, 40 minutes out, mm -hmm. eight thousand uh, feet up. Mm -hmm. But you've got the, these beautiful surrounding, you know, surrounding areas. It's not that much different, really. I mean, it'd be the, the same as commute from, I guess, Summerlin to. Yeah to uh, Henderson Green Valley. Yeah, no which different. is not that bad. But this, except for this is a beautiful, yes. beautiful, you know this Now, one. who would buy something like this? I believe that the buyer that we would be looking to and market to would be someone that was either living in the ridges, in the summit, McDonald's Highland, the major gated, or gar gated community in Vegas that are used to these type of finishes and surroundings, mm -hmm. but would like to escape Vegas for the weekend or the week or any time they wanted, but they don't particularly want to live in a log cabin. So th that's where I believe that the buyer will, will come to. Does this have an HOA? This does have an HOA. Mm -hmm. However, at the moment, I can't give you those numbers okay. because I have to confer with the owner because he owns all the property here and the other homes at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's his own internal HOA, and so they're figuring that out. Okay. Yeah, but it won't be astronomical. Could somebody actually buy this and rent this out? They could rent it out, but they couldn't do it for short term, um, you know, like Airbnb and stuff like that. Yeah. Absolutely not. So we'd have to look at the HOA, what the guidelines You'd guide have to look at, yeah. yeah, definitely. And 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 probably you, you wouldn't want that and it wouldn't be allowed because of the other two two or three houses yeah. on here. But certainly you'd be able to to rent it, you know, more than 30 days, definitely. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we have technically two primaries at this we point. We do, right? we do, yeah. Okay. We've got a mini one this way, okay. and then I would say it was a secondary primary, and we'll, okay. we'll take a look at okay. that now. And then we'll shoot across to the, uh, the main over there. Actually, this is one of my favorite rooms. I think it's because we're right at the top of the building now. Mm -hmm. Views are phenomenal. Now, Absolutely. Phenomenal. I've noticed he's got these pop-outs here. Is this so that way we could put a Lutron yes, system? It absolutely. looks like you have that option here. Yeah, absolutely. He's but, he's put everything possible into the home and everything possible to, you know, to to further uh, upgrade it. What I like about this again is the how large these picture windows are. Obviously, we can open up the windows to get some fresh air, which yeah. is really nice. Oh, yeah. And I'm just telling you the view, guys. <laughs> The camera's not picking this nah. thing up. You, you gotta come out here to really see what's going on. I mean, this is just so gorgeous. It is unbelievable. I mean, it seems like every room that we've gone to, yes. there's some sort of view. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. And the ceilings here are very high. Um, yeah. I don't even know if these are even 10 feet. They look it, like they're 12. I yeah, don't I even know. Yeah, I think they might be 12. I say, I'm a, I'm a little guy, five, yeah. five, six, and I think I could stand on my, on my head and be not there touching you go. the ceiling. So. <laughs> Very technical measurements from the from the English guy, right? Yes. <laughs> so we got a closet here, yeah. then again, bathroom here as well. Everything is all seamless, modern. So this looks like it matches the one downstairs as well. And right? that's what I was gonna say to yeah. you. That obviously he's had a designer to put all this together. Yeah. This isn't someone that's, oh, I'm gonna build a house. Oh, I like that stone, I'll do that in yeah. there. And the whole thing is seamless and the mm -hmm. whole thing, thing has this similar theme throughout. And you just said about the window, this is a bathroom. Yes. And you've even got a window there, which is a beautiful mountain view, which you don't often get in a bathroom. 
So, well designed. Really well. I love how really. you incorporated just nature, just bringing it inside Absolutely. Here. Absolutely. Bring the outside in. Yeah. Now, I can't wait to see the main primary. primary. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Chuckies, I just wanted mm -hmm. to mention as well, if you notice the window comes right down to floor level. So when the snow is there, you can imagine just a blanket of snow you can view, you know, from here. Beautiful as well with the outdoor mm -hmm. stone surround as well. Nice. Come on, let's go look at the primary. So immediately you've got your closets all fitted out. It goes okay. around, so it's, it's spacious. It's nice. And the bathroom here is incredible. All Absolutely. Right, let's check this thing yeah, out. this this again uh, is probably second favorite to the um, to that that bedroom. We so just it looks saw. like we have quartzites all Everywhere. over the place, floating vanity, which yes. is really nice. Yeah. And I love again the picture window. But Absolutely. what is crazy about this that I really want to point out is that we have a mirror that yes. gives you the illusion where it's a lot bigger than it really is. Then you have this window, you get the reflection. I'm looking this way, I can still see. It's yeah, and you've even it's got incredible. It. Look at the reflection in yes. there. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. Again, floor to ceiling. They've not scrimped with everything. The quartzite goes from the floor to the ceiling, and then some beautifully designed uh, ceramic on the on the walls. Of the so, room. was his intentions to actually build this, to sell it, or to move in? Because it, it looks like this was a personal I know, design. It, you know what? I, I, it definitely wasn't to move in, and the reason I know that again, yeah. be more will be revealed in, in a couple of years, but. Mm -hmm. But we have a, another property on, on here that's 27,000 square feet with 16 bedrooms and 16 bathrooms. Oh my gosh. That's, that's future. That is not guaranteed to sell that because uh -huh. he isn't living it. He's, you know, he's, he's up and down the mountain. Mm -hmm. um, but that may be coming in the future, but we'll, we'll focus on this one. Okay. And then we've got a couple of others and then a real big one. Who knows? We might be coming back here in the next 12 months, two years. So too. that means we need to sell this one. There you go. Then after, once we sell this one, there you go. I'll represent you as the buyer, obviously. Yeah. Uh, we'll get this deal done. Yeah. And then we're gonna go tour the other one. That's it, no problem, <laughs> promise. Yeah, we finish off in the primary. Again, beautiful balcony, fabulous. I mean, look at the view. Look at the, the, the uh, peaks there, the snow oh, peaks. Oh, wow. It's just incredible. Yeah. Look at this balcony. This would be amazing in the morning, coffee, tea, or whatever your preference is. Guys, now this is literally 180 degrees right here. You can literally see this whole thing right here. Yeah, it's incredible, really. Unbelievable. Yeah. And you know what we've not even talked about, yeah. but 110 degrees in Vegas, mm -hmm. you're only looking at 75 to 80 up here. And that's that? The, that is the magic of the mountain. Really? Yes, absolutely. You were asking me, you know, how often do I get up here in my place? And that's one of the main reasons. And, and I'm talking, the other thing we've not talked about, the nature up here is incredible. Mm -hmm. We've got woodpeckers, we've got hummingbirds, we've got squirrels, we've got everything. You can hear the birds now, right now. Yeah, let's do a moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. No, that, that was, was great. great. That was no, great. Absolutely. <laughs> but it is that that's something that's super important. Is why would anybody, you know, want to come up here? Obviously, if you like, you know, mountain life and yeah. things like that. But there's usually a thirty different, a thirty degree difference in swing of temperature. And that, if, you know, I, I, when I sell houses, the same as you, you can recognize properties. You, there's secret sauce. I call it secret sauce. Yeah. It's gated. It's single story. It's pool. It's spa. It's, you know, great, great amenities. And, you know, you need that. But the secret sauce, the, the master secret sauce, if you like, if I was a chef yeah. and I'm not, would be 30 degrees difference between Vegas and the mountain. Now, do they actually have trails out here? That oh, yeah. You walk around? A ton, a ton of okay. trails. I'm not familiar with them. I'm an old retired gymnast okay. and okay. Cirque du Soleil performer. So I had to have two ibuprofen this morning because I knew we'd be walking these stairs. <laughs> so I'm not a trail. I'm not a trailblazer yeah. and I'm not a trail walker. Okay. But there is a ton. It's extremely mm -hmm. popular. And anybody can look that up if they just, you know, Google Mount, Mount Charleston trails. It's, it's incredible. Now, I think we looked at all the rooms, but there's one more room, right? That we didn't look at? I think so. I think that's the one. All the way down. Well, is not it? all the way down. I think it's the one behind the kitchen. That's it. Yes, yeah, you're right. That's how large this house there, is. Yeah, that's it. Yes. <laughs> you can There's get lots in here. A bedroom behind the kitchen. Yes. I guess that's for those nights when the celebrations went a little crazy and <laughs> can't make it up to the primary, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, guys, just this alone right here, you can literally just hang out right here. Totally. And just enjoy everything. Yeah. I mean, this... And this view down, I'm, I'm a big lover when I, yeah. when I have photographs taken of my listings and things, I love the view either down from upper to this, and mm -hmm. this is incredible. This is 
picture perfect. But I also like down staircases and things like that. But this is just phenomenal because you're not just looking down. Normally you look down and yeah. then that's it. But now you can look up to the, you know, the mountains as well. All right, let's go. Oh, I was going to ask you. Yeah. Furniture, is that all included? It could be. He okay. staged it. Okay. So for the right price, absolutely. For the right price. For the right price, yeah. Yeah, everything's negotiable, as you know, in real estate, right? Yeah. So. Maybe even that Tesla? Nah, nah, <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> well, may, actually, so maybe, for, if you want to For the right the pace, price. Yeah, for the right price. When, when, the, when the cyber beast comes, that's what's going to get me up here, then the okay. cyber beast. So. so this is the secret room that we forgot about, and I mm -hmm. forgot about that as well. So no, we have a second balcony. A, yeah. Which is really nice. It might even be a third, because there might have been one. I know there's one above us. There wasn't one off the primary, was there? No. But, but there was, there's one downstairs off yes. the deck, off the, uh, off the basement. So we've got at least three, at least three. But yeah, it's beautiful. Again, views yeah. galore. Absolutely. Everywhere you go, you got Absolutely. the tray ceiling as well. Looks like you got some pre-wiring here. Yeah. You got the LED lights, ceiling fans in every single room, solid core doors. I mean, this thing has no, it all. Like I said, I've not, I've not come across anything yet. I said, oh, yeah. I wish you'd have done that. It's just, it's clean is the word I like to say. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about wiping things down. It's just the finishes are clean. And it's just, it's simple. This is where, you know, you got some extra cash. You know, you want to have a cabin, but live on the luxury side. This yeah. is it. Oh, yeah. And, and be 30 de and, and live between 70 and 80 degrees in yeah. the summertime. If you've, you know, if you've got a remote business and you might want to escape up here with your family during those crazy June, July, August, Vegas summer months. Or if you're like a creative artist and you want to bring your team up here. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. This is what you do. Oh, absolutely. Up here. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's yeah. go finish up this video. Yeah. All right, Paul. So everybody wants to know this. What is the asking price for this home? The asking price is a bargain a bargain. A bargain uh -huh. of four and a quarter million dollars for 5,200 square feet. and a quarter. Yeah. I think that is a pretty good deal. I'm going to make I you do. a one-time offer. All right. Okay. You this got is proof the cash. of funds. I got the proof of funds. Right. It's on my phone. All right. All right. All right. Which work you can I'll show verify. me after. I'll verify that then. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make you a one-time offer. Right. Okay. And this is it. Three million dollars cash. Unfortunately, two things. Okay. I can probably safely say uh -huh. that... I will not accept that, but I am not, <laughs> but I am not the seller. Yes. So I will go to the seller. Okay. And I'll say, Chuck, it's has been here. Mm -hmm. All right. So long as the three million is for the house, mm -hmm. but we've got one and a quarter million dollars of snow and Ooh. a priceless view that you can come up to four and a quarter, we've got a deal. Ooh, that's pretty tough. Oh, guess... I'll tell you what then. All right. <laughs> let's say four and a half. I'll throw the Tesla in. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's, it's been driven by a famous Cirque du Soleil <laughs> person, gymnast, retired. I'm joking. All right. So l <laughs> let me ask you this on, on a serious note. If, if somebody is actually interested in this home, yeah. okay, I'm going to have a link in the description below. Um, do you have any social media sites where we can start following you for all the viewers for more properties like this? For me, no. no. I'm the most unusual agent you will ever meet. Why is that? Um... I like to fly under the radar. Yeah. I need people like you. Okay. And that's why you're here. Okay. But but yeah, that that's me. I've been I've been in in uh, I've been in a in, under the spotlight for many many years through mm -hmm. gymnastics and Cirque du Soleil and and those kind of things. So I like to uh, I like to just ha sell houses quietly. Oh, perfect. But I like to expose them, obviously. Okay. In as many different places as, and and that's why I'm really glad that you asked and, well, and we invited you up here. I really do appreciate no, it, and absolutely. I really do, you know, taking your time to come out here because I mean, obviously this is a 45 minute drive. It took us some time too as well, and you could have been anywhere, but you gave sure. us the opportunity to film this. Now, guys, if you guys are actually interested in this property, I'm gonna have a link in the description below, full details, everything about this property. If you guys are interested, we'll set up an appointment. We'll come up here, we'll take a look. But I can tell you this, what you see right now on camera or the pictures, no, it doesn't do it justice. you, you no, gotta no. come up here. I agree. That's the only way. Paul, thank you very much. I do appreciate Thanks, your time. Thanks Let's get it sold. Man. Appreciate you.